You got 30 years of building history, building a culture, really being an integral part of what hip hop has become. Do you ever look back? Because I know you're into film and TV now. Do you ever look back and miss those days of being in hip hop? Not at all. I'm a grown ass man. It's like asking me if I miss selling drugs. I got to fight. I got to deal with people. I, you know what it is to tell soldiers that they're generals and they don't believe it and they resent you for it? That business is not a business for me. It's no bueno. It's a waste of fucking time. It's a distraction. It's not helping the world. It's distracting the world. I can only be a part of things that involve my culture and people that want to evolve. I don't want to be around a bunch of fuddy duddies. I can't do it. So is this why you go so hard at Lior? Yeah, Lior's a sucker. Have you ever had like a conversation with him? I don't like what him. he does to our culture. I don't like how disrespectful he was, how strategic he was. You know, if someone wants to control a culture and make them slaves, the best way to do that is not let them know they're slaves. And he did a good job of making people think that being a slave was cool. And he separated a lot of us so that he can capitalize personally. I think everyone should be mad at Leo because if he hadn't divided a lot, not just my crew, a lot of crews, a lot more history would have been made a lot better. Do you blame him personally? I benched Leo. I benched him. He's not in music no more. He's benched. He has to run around chasing YouTube stars. That's what he does. He sits behind a desk. He's benched. I did it. I'm proud of it. Do you blame him personally for breaking up the rock? I wasn't even in the music business when I benched him. I canceled him. And Dang. everybody was scared of him. See, the difference between me and everyone else is we always busy calling each other out. Black mm -hmm. people fighting black people. I called them out, and I've been calling them out. I've been in my revolution by myself. And, I, and the only revolution is economic empowerment. You know the best way to cure racism, especially in on an on on office place? Every time someone's treated me racist, racist in a business, I buy the business and I fire them. I make them work for me, and then I fire them. That's what I've done. That's how you cure racism. Be the boss. Because that's all that matters is who's the plug. Nobody gives a fuck what color the plug is. Everyone protects the plug. And the narrative is they're the plug and they're not. And they keep making us think we are. And I always knew that was bullshit because they was lame. It wasn't logical. I don't care how many times you say it and how many people you got hypnotized. It was a good plan. It was passed down since the Romans. Because you got to remember back in Egypt, Egypt had Jews as slaves. You know what the Moors did when they ran around? They fucked everybody's women and they took over everything. So Rome erased it, made a plan to say, yo, that's muscle right there. You better control that. And I'm not even going to make sure it's controlled for 10 years or a generation. We got to give a plan that's going to control mentality for hundreds of years, thousands of years. Think about the Great Wall. It took 2,000 years to build the Great Wall. The Great Wall was built by slaves, all scared the Mongols. That means they had 20 generations of people slaved out thinking their life was only to build a wall for people that were never coming. 2,000 years. So for me, if we've been brainwashed for 200, it's relatively short. Correct. But that shit is over. Let me, let me just play devil's advocate here. You made a lot of money with Lior. You, no, you I didn't. No, wait, hold on. Lior works for somebody. He ain't do shit. Fuck you mean. Universal so, is not owned by Leo. So you don't feel like Leo? He was an employee. Nah, I, I, how can I, I just told you I don't respect somebody that pretends they're a boss and they not. See, he got you hoodwinked. He's not a boss. He's an employee. I'm a boss. This is the same energy. On the movie, the show, I seen you go in that Kevin Lyles. Same mentality back then? Or, you, or, or do you not look at Kevin Lyles today the way you looked at him back then? I don't look at him at all. He's not even in my hemisphere. Who the fuck is he right now? I don't know who he is. All I know is back then, I didn't like the fact that he did Leo's bidding, that he was helping a white man rob black people. I never liked it. And you see what I did and how I carried them for him. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.